my name is Ann Bickle, and I love it when people call me Annie. That's my favorite nickname. Um, I am an artist, and I love to always be creating. I love to be part of something new and getting all of the gears rolling for new things. I am married to my best friend. His name is Brady. And we have two boys. Their names are Jonathan and Christopher. We're a pretty close family. Our kids are involved in athletics, musical instruments, and scouts. And um, we really like to just be together as much as we can. We really enjoy each other's company. We don't go out a lot. And of course the pandemic has really thrown off any plans that we did have. Um, of course we like to go to dinner, go for a walk or see a movie, but really it's like the day to day sort of dates where we stay up late and watch the late show with Stephen Colbert or just talk and exchange the crazy things that our kids said that day. On the rare occasion we do get to go out, we really enjoy Gigi Southern Table in State College or JD Tai in Altoona. We're just best friends. We love to hang out together. Oh, so editing is just really quiet, solitary work. I love to listen and learn something while I work. And a few of my favorite podcasts are This American Life, Hidden Brain, Fresh Air, The Indicator from Planet Money, and especially The Robcast by Rob Bell. I really love to read books. Occasionally I do read novels or autobiographical works, but I am really quickly um, and usually drawn to spiritual based, like theology sort of books. I'm a pretty quick read. Usually I finish a book in a few sittings. Um, I've been like this since I was a child, reading next to my plugged in nightlight long after I was supposed to be asleep. And every allowance that I received in those days was spent on novels and oh my goodness receiving a scholastic book advertisement at school was just like the thrill of my life so, uh, I just couldn't put books down and I had a really good example for reading too I have two parents who both really enjoyed reading for pleasure and I remember seeing them read all the time and had also a really great middle school teacher who encouraged my love of reading so I am so thankful for all of that that's my favorite hobby I really love to study my genealogy. I've been tracing my family's genealogy and my husband's family's too for years now. I've slowly been working to make my family tree combined with my husband's um, like a visual artwork and my work so far hangs in our dining room and it's just a constant work in progress. The research is really fun to me. I've learned that I have a long ago relative with a last name Wickham for any of you Pride and Prejudice fans out there. I thought that was sort of fun. Uh, my roots are Ukrainian, Polish, German, and French. Many of my ancestors have not been in the United States for long. I went to school for art education and photography. Um, I have a dual degree from Penn State University, and then I did my master's degree in art education at Ohio State University. And I um, taught for seven years at a public school as an art teacher. And then I quit teaching in 2014 to pursue this work after doing freelance work since about 2005. And I have just really loved the switch. I love my flexible hours, the ability to care for my family with that time. And I love the chance to meet lots of lovely people. I don't really have to miss it because I still get to teach every year. I continue to offer art classes to local children. I work with a few different groups to provide classes to children in like a camp style setting, usually in the summertime. I work with the Bellwood Antis Public Library and I work for the Holidaysburg Arts Council. And we both, you know, together we offer art classes to kids in the area. Um, I, I offer free art classes as part of a collaboration with the Bellwood Antis Live Public Library. Uh, the librarian there, her name is Jessica Ford Cameron, amazing. Um, she's a joy to work with and she seeks out local grants to be able to help create these wonderful classes. And we are just so grateful that we get to offer those things for free to kids. And I have a class I often teach at the library. 
It's called the Write Stuff, W-R-I-T-E, which is when I combine cursive writing instruction with art making and give the kids like just lots of fun, but then they learn to write in cursive by the end of the week. And then with the Holidaysburg Arts Council, those classes are paid um, by the campers, um, but they offer so many good opportunities for the community culturally that I'm so glad to be part of that organization. Um, the other of my favorites, which I have done at the Holidaysburg Arts Council group, is called Art Around the World, where we make suitcases and then we pretend to travel to different countries and then examine the art that comes from those regions and then make little souvenirs um, that are inspired on art pieces that could really be found there. And I just really like to um, combine a sense of learning and like awe inspiring, you know, curiosity um, when I design these camps for kids. Ooh, um, favorite traveling adventures. I think that one of my favorite family travel adventures is when we took our two boys to Niagara Falls, which was in 2019, um, that we just had the best time. I think partially it was because we were stroller free for most of the trip and it just felt like we could just go do anything. Um, the kids had a great time. They were really just cheerful and excited about exploring. Goodness, we saw that water from just about every vantage point that one could possibly see it. Um, but the kids have such great memories of that trip and cannot wait to go back someday. And another trip um, is Brady and I went on an adventure years ago to Italy where we were able to see the art installation work of Cristo and Jean-Claude, and that was called The Floating Piers. We were able to experience buoyancy as we walked on floating walkways leading through Lake Isio, which is near Salzano, Italy. Children were just doing cartwheels on the yellow-orange fabric, and other people relaxed in the sunshine. The landscape was just quite majestic. We were surrounded by mountains and green trees. It was, it was pure magic. We were so, we're so glad, we still talk about it so fondly, to have gotten to experience one of the last projects designed by the artist Cristo and his late wife while he was still living um, was when the project happened. So we were really lucky.